All right, so for farmers listening, there are about three basic things you need to observe to be successful as a poultry farmer, especially in Nigeria. Number one is effective biosecurity measures, up to date with your vaccination and then quality nutrition. Today, we'll be focusing on effective biosecurity measures on your farm. Bio means life and security means protection, like you're trying to protect life. So um, in simple terms, biosecurity consists of the measures you put in place on your farm, on your flock to protect your flock from being exposed um, to infectious agents. All right, so biosecurity is a thoughtful process where a farmer puts himself in the shoes of the animal, in quote. So what I mean by that is that if the water is not safe for you, it's not safe for your birds. If the environment is not clean for you, then it's probably not so clean for your birds. If uh, the loops, the hygiene on your farm, it's not perfect enough for you as an owner, then maybe it's also not perfect for the animals. So you need to learn, especially in biosecurity, to put yourself in the shoes of those life animals because again as we all know life is life whether it's human or it's animals one of the very um, important benefits is um, that you prevent an um, outbreak of diseases on your farm when you have good um, biosecurity protocols in place and you follow them you can be sure that to a large extent your flock your farm is going to be secured from disease outbreaks and stuff like that. Then second one is um, you can be sure to maximize profit. That means, um, you know, when there, there's a, an outbreak of disease now, um, we call it mortalities and indirectly you're already losing, um, losing funds and stuff. So when you put in place good um, biosecurity protocols and you follow, you can be sure that your um, profitability, profitability of your business will be maximized. One of the m major components of biosecurity in a farm is um, hygiene. As you want to maintain high hygienic standards, you want to um, be very key about um, sanitation, about cleanliness. So, and it comes in two ways from you as a person, as a worker, or as from the workers on the farm, and then things that you put in place in the farm itself. Now, from the human perspective, from the perspective of the worker, you want to um, be sure that every time you are coming into the farm, you are clean. You are not um, putting on footwear, maybe boots, or whatever you put on when you are going into the farm. You want to be sure that they are free from um, contamination, maybe from fecal materials. You want to check and be sure that everything is clean. You don't have um, physics stuff somewhere in your shoes. And then um, you are not putting on clothes that you have worn to maybe a farm before, or you have worn around. You want to put on. And that's why it's good also to have um, wears uniforms or clothes that you wear when you're on the farm. So you know that this is what I put on on the farm. And so you're not just wearing the same thing you wear when to the street or something into your farm. So that's hygiene. And then on the farm itself, you want to ensure that um, the farm is clean, like physically clean. Now that comes to how you take care of your, maybe the fecal droppings now. You want to be sure that your farm is, is, is free of, um, you don't accumulate um, fecal drops so that you don't have um, flies and all those things in your farm. You can install um, the foot dips. The foot dips are important. Like you put that at the entrance of your farm. You just, um, there's a structure, then you put in, you put water and disinfectant in the foot dip. So every time someone is coming into the farm, you are putting your feet into it before you step into the farm itself. Traffic control, you want to um, restrict movement. You don't allow just anybody into your farm. Whoever they have, maybe relatives, whatsoever, you want to um, ensure that there are people that are actually needed on the farm. And if there are customers, you don't allow 
for example, maybe in a poultry farm, you want to have your sales point out away from the farm itself, maybe somewhere around the gate so that they don't, um, in the name of wanting to buy eggs or whatever, come into the farm. So that's on traffic control. Then the third one is um, quarantine, quarantine of new birds or new animals that are bringing into the farm. We want to keep them in a separate place, maybe for two to three days before um, joining them with the flock, the existing flock, just to watch out for signs of any sign, any sign at all of maybe infections or illnesses. And then isolation of sick animals. Every time there's an animal in your flock that is sick, you want to be quick to isolate them. You want to have an isolation, maybe an isolation room or pen or cage so that you separate sick animals from the healthy ones. Um, so those are the ways that you can, you know, the, the things you can put in place on your farm to prevent um, this spread and outbreak to ensure biosecurity. So we want to invite you all farmers to our community. We want you to look at the writings on your screen the goal of FarmerLat is to ensure that every farmer out there listening to us have enough, enough resources, both knowledge, association, whatever resources you need to ensure that you keep alive in your farming business. That's what FarmerLat is doing. And by staying in touch with us, we hope you get the best from us. Thank you. We look forward to always having you in all our channels, following up on every activities that we engage in.